Understanding, keep tabs on someone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, keep tabs on someone. This phrase is quite common in everyday English conversations, and understanding it can really help you in both understanding native speakers and expressing yourself more naturally. So, let's get started. To keep tabs on someone means to monitor or observe someone closely. It involves paying attention to a person's activities or behavior, often to stay informed about what they are doing. This phrase can be used in both personal and professional contexts. For example, a parent might keep tabs on their children's online activities for safety reasons, or a manager might keep tabs on their team's progress on a project. The phrase, keep tabs on, comes from a historical practice involving accounting and record keeping. Tabs refers to the small markers or indicators used to keep track of information on a ledger or chart. Over time, this term evolved metaphorically to mean keeping an informal or mental note of someone's actions or whereabouts. Using keep tabs on someone in a sentence is pretty straightforward. Here are a few examples to illustrate its use. As a project manager, I need to keep tabs on all ongoing projects to ensure they're on schedule. Since my son started college, I've tried not to keep tabs on him too much to give him some independence. Social media platforms have made it much easier for people to keep tabs on each other's lives. Remember, while the phrase can have a neutral connotation, suggesting attentiveness or care, it can also imply a lack of trust or a desire to control, depending on the context. Let's practice. Think of a situation in your life where you had to keep tabs on someone or something. How did you do it? What was the outcome? Try to describe this situation using the phrase, keep tabs on. That's all for today's lesson on, keep tabs on someone. We hope this video has been informative and has added a useful expression to your English vocabulary. Remember, practicing these phrases in your daily conversations will help you become more fluent and comfortable with the English language. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.